Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your brother. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Oh, shit. Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows. Hey, Justin. That shit ain't See that right, guy man. in the beat up that truck? Shit ain't right. I bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. you guys. He's gonna I have your afraid motherfucking to say it. jobs when he I'm hears really about this. I'm really missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from white collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey. How about some water back here? Shut I thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't know what you were doing? Or I'll set you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? Nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. You should have been a man about it. I can't believe I'm getting my moralistic shit kicked in by a couple of criminals. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, a, a pyramid scheme. Aren't those kinda shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. How'd you live with yourself? Easy. I didn't think about it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Oh, when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I killed some assholes. Whoa. Damn. He's not lying. Are you? And how do you know? Like I said, I'm good at lying. And he's not. What do you think? 
Do I look like I'm lying? No. No, you don't. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. You, know you gotta be is. kidding me. This is cool. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad Violate luck, Vince. My motherfucking <laughs> That's not bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? The fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? Fuck you. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. Oh, man. What the hell is going on, Brad? Right Brad, knock it off. Hey, let him go, man. Better Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back there. He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do oh, not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker! Vince, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? We can't do anything with these damn chains on! Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, goddammit! You gotta get, get in, get in there! Get in there and wake that shit up, Come on, now. man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy! Crabtree? Last what warning! Are you for? Don't just stand let him there. go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? Goddammit, boy! Answer me back there! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He's still breathing. He's uh. Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't, don't call it in yet. He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up! You hear me? Just shut your mouth. Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. Back up! Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get. Shit! What do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. Right, man. Yeah. Where's the guard's gun? Yeah. Yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here.
Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot at you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Vince! Whoa, whoa, watch it. Ain't gonna work. Chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Vince! What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna slow you... Do it again! Come on, let's go! Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. 
Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Still can't believe Clive got this thing working. So much nicer than having to eat raw food all the time. Smells good. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs too. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. <gasps> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. 
You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It's so okay to be Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We did that. I've regretted it ever since. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie. Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't! He's not even armed! We can't just kill him! This isn't in self-defense! Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do Give you him have? some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever 
Come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time. Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. No one's watering these. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. But she had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. 
If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. The hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. I'm sorry. Me too. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? I swear, this is the worst one ever. You know the rules, miss. Got to answer. Well? I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is that more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I 
probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Take a hike, big ears. I resemble that remark. You resemble a satellite. You know, you weren't so damn sassy before. Yes, that's a good sign. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? Long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland, thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters? Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we got to get moving. What the hell was that? So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? What's in the bag, Dee? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag... Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think, or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush, your but voice is But you are the down. one who Come made on me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now You're going to draw every dead thing for miles around you keep on like goddamn this. goddamn middle of nowhere you place. On you listen to me now. I have had it up to I here with listening to you. to blaspheme. I'm, oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Right, Dee? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! Dee, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. Dee, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, Dee. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on, we gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. So fast! Son of a bitch! Oh!
Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Bonnie. Me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out tr here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I saw seeing him. Look at you. I, I, no. God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't. Thank you. Help the stones. Dee, I would never... I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Right out. It can't be far. Dee. Dee, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? 
me. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you would... What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leyland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my D? Be moving. You gotta be closing in. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? There weren't nothing I could have done. It was dark and she... She came out of nowhere, Leland. Jesus. I believe you, but... Oh, God. Back this way! Uh, no! You're going... Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see This him. way. We can't stay here forever. <laughs> I think I saw something over here. Die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Ugh. 63 miles to go. Hey! You getting up? I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Look, Russell, I just asked you your name, not who the king of fucking Norway was, but I might be being presumptuous. Maybe Russell's the name of the guy you took that bag from. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm 
trying to get to my grand's house. Buck, she like to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. Good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <sighs> all right. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy. Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... he... Let it out, Paco. Just... we gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead! Anyway, I... I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about it. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to 10. What do you think? Ah! Slamming before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah, like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Five! Five! Fucking five! Oh, come on, man. I'm out to the end of the day. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove bag. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I... Oh shit! Go! Get out! Ugh. Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? 
Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you! Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. See him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. 
We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? I'm done. That's it, man. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Can't you take a fucking joke? Fuck your jokes. I'm sorry, I'm out. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. This is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Dude, take this thing. Get him, man! Are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt, talk words at me, man! Say something, you fat asshole! Maybe they crashed? I didn't hear a crash. Did you hear a crash? No. No, I... I didn't. Here, here. I'll turn off. Look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like, I just... Why didn't they say anything? The guy's taking his shit over there. That's all they had to say. Did you mean to pull the trigger? I don't know. I was so keyed up, I just... Damn it. Look, Wyatt... All I know is those guys had me all jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear?
until we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. And she told me that... Think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man. Say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man! It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. I could be wrong. I'm just saying it didn't look human to me. You are wrong. Why do you even ask me if you're not gonna listen? Obviously, because I thought you'd agree with me! Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Or it's part rotten? of his shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't pay for sex drunk, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys. If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Rock your scissors, dude. Eddie. Yeah, sorry. Got caught up. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, 
two, three, go. Damn it, I almost picked scissors, but I changed it at the last fucking second. Looks like it's me. Anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie! You see something? You should get back in the car! No fucking way, man! What if it was you? Eddie! What's happening? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, alright? This is my speed. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell do they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. Hey, maybe I can see better with that guy on. There you are, you piece of shit. Why didn't he just leave them in the ignition? Come here, you little bastard! Why didn't he just leave them in the ignition? Shit! Ah! Come here, you little bastard! You were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Building a good community here, we want to keep it that way. Of course. I found him. Holy shit! Good job. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. We should probably split up into two parties. You got it. Hey! Don't shit! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I follow the smoke. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. 
Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought, you know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt. Look, we need people, plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean... Then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. Is that clear? Yeah, clear. I don't know. I don't really believe in safe places. Not anymore. I know it's hard, but this is your only chance. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word.